students go back to school, the fastest growing district in Texas is hoping parents will approve its plan for more money. Yona Gavino is in Frisco talking about the district's dilemma and the choice for homeowners. Frisco ISD welcomed more than 53,000 students today. In the last several years, the district absorbed more than $100 million in state funding cuts. They just can't absorb that shortfall anymore. They have to be able to raise additional revenue. We're told the proposed 13 cent property tax hike would mean pay increases for teachers and administration staff. It's also expected to ease the burden of classroom sizes. About 10,000 people have already voted in the early election. The average home in Frisco ISD would see an increase in taxes close to $443 a year. Parents we spoke with say they understand the need, but aren't sure how they'll cast their ballot. And I think you certainly need the financial backing to continue to provide and allow them to have a competitive edge when they graduate. Early voting runs through Tuesday. Election day is Saturday, August 27. It's the only thing on the ballot in Frisco. Yona Govino, CBS 11 News. And